In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Hello boys and girls and parents and everybody's watching. Thank you so much for watching us today. Uh, we have a new episode of Sunday School. Uh, my name is Sandra. I'll, I'll be uh, your Sunday School teacher for today. And I have with me... Trevina. Which grade you're in? First grade. All right. Have you heard before about St. John the Short? Yes. Yes? All right. Today I'll be telling you the story about St. John the Short. He was born in Egypt from a very poor family, but they were very holy and their heart w w uh, was with the Lord. When he was 18 years old, he decided to give his life to God, which means become a monk and he went and lived in the wilderness. And uh, he had a father of confession. His name was Ava Pemwa. One day, it happened that Ava Pemwa wanted to test it, how obedient he was. And he took him 12 miles away outside the monastery and asked him to plant a stick. What if I asked you to plant a stick? Does it make any sense to plant a stick? Uh, yes. Well, if you say so. Have you plant? Have you ever planted a stick? And in your backyard, in your house, have you ever planted a stick? Yes. Did it ever grow in a flower or something? Um, it, it didn't. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So if you have a stick and you left it there. Probably be still there, but it wouldn't be anything. So what happened was, Saint John the Short would walk every day carrying a bucket of water on his back, very very heavy bucket, and he would go there and water the stick. And he did this for three years. Yes. Do you have a question? Um. Yeah. Um. So do we make our fingers like the person? Oh, you want to walk like St. John the Short? Yeah. All right. So St. John the Short was walking. No, I don't. Okay. And he was watering the plant. And after three years, this little stick, it turned out to be a huge tree. Not just a tree, it bear fruit. Um, I got a question. Yes. Like, do we, like, there's a stick already, so, so, it go, so would we just... Hold it and do like this. This is what uh, Saint John the Short was doing. He was he was watering the, the the stick for three years, and it turned out to be a huge tree. And after three years, Ava Pemwa gathered all the monks and asked them to eat from the fruit of obedience. So sometimes obedience could be hard. Sometimes obedience doesn't make sense. Sometimes we don't want to listen to our parents, maybe, or our servants. But it's important that we obey God, we obey our leaders, we obey our parents who God entrusted them. Because obedience brings blessings. So our verse for today, can you repeat after me? Okay. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. And said to him. And said to him. If anyone loves me. If anybody loves me. He will keep my word. He will keep my word. And my father. And my father. Will love him. Will love him. And we will come to him. And we will come to him. And make our home with him. And make our home with him. It's John fourteen twenty three. John 14, 15, 23. 23. John 14. John 14. 23. 23. I hope you learned something from St. John the Short, the life of obedience. And uh, I hope that you taste the fruit of your obedience to your parents, to your priests, to the church. And first of all, the most important, our obedience to the Lord. And I hope to see you next time in another episode. Bye. Bye.